Hello and welcome. It's a it's such a privilege, and I'm so honored and proud. Thank you very much for accepting oh, the thank interview. You. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Really. Well, after a lot of anticipation, Saturday night, the Hollywood vampires, the godfather of shock rock, Alice Cooper, actor Johnny Depp, and Aerosmith's uh, lead guitarist Joe Perry and guitarist um, Tommy Henriksen from Cooper's Band, is meeting with the Turkish fans, probably for the hottest show. Um, of the summer, let's say. Uh, this time, uh, we know that the Hollywood Vampires postponed the US tours due to your injury in your ankle. So let's start off, how is your health? Will you be able to s uh, survive on stage tomorrow? Well, surviving at any time is hard to do in, under any circumstances. But uh, yeah, uh, uh, it, it, it seems like it's um, the leg is uh, healing up, or the fibula, as it were, is healing up better and um, I can sort of, I can limp around <laughs> interme intermediate. Oh, okay. I'm not ready for sports with it yet. Um, well, you're together on stage since 2012, as far as I believe, and sometimes featuring guest appearances in your albums and concerts, playing your own songs and your hero songs. How did you decide to form the band, uh, first of all, and how did it get all started? You know, it, it really yeah. started uh, kind of as an accident. Um, Johnny was doing Dark Shadows, and I did a part in the, in the thing, and we, we invited him to come and jam with us one night out at the 100 Club in London. And he showed up and just killed it. I, I knew he was a guitar player. I didn't know how good he was. But it, well, that night I went, okay, this guy can play. So we talked, and we we're at his house, Joe's at his house, and I said, why don't we put a band, or he said, I said why don't we put a band together? Who's Pretty soon we had a band that was startlingly good band, you know. And it probably turned out better than you thought? Oh, well, yeah, I mean, it, you know, we all started in bar bands. Mm -hmm. sure. That's that's how yep. the Beatles started as a cover band. The Stones did, everybody did. But this was like going back and becoming a bar band again, which was, it's always the most fun thing to play other people's music, right. you know. You're, you're actually mostly known as a brilliant actor, but let's go 11 years back. All of a sudden, we see you on stage, you know, holding a guitar in your hand, and uh, we meet yet with a different talent of yours. And so, how did music come into your life? Oh man, well, uh, music is—I mean—one of my earliest, earliest memories of all of all is is, is music. It's is sonic, you know. Mm -hmm. It's. Um, mm -hmm. Then here, you know, when you get a little older, very, you know, close to the teens and stuff, and you start hearing, like, for me, it was like, oh, wow, Alice Cooper, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I was a massive follower, fan of Alice uh, Cooper and his band. And then Joe and Daryl Smith, you know, I mean, I was, uh, <clears throat> Joe became kind of my, you know, my, the sort of that I want to play like that dude, man. Mm -hmm. You know that guy just plays cool, and um, that—that's really how I, I fell in love with it. I picked up a guitar for twenty-five bucks and taught myself how to play on a on a uh, you know on a record player. You know, just listening to stuff. And the journey starts. Johnny and nobody knew him as a guitar player or a musician. And one of the best parts of the first tour was watching people go, after the second and third song, wow, he can really play. <laughs> and, and he can really sing. That I mean, came as a surprise. Like huh? the re he's the real deal. He, was, he started as a musician. You know? well, what Joe didn't know was Johnny and I are, you know, when he comes in to play on some of the things, I said, I think we can get Joe. I think we got you. you know? yeah. And he's going, yeah, I think so. You, I said, you work on him, and I'll work on him. <laughs> got him. And uh, <laughs> yeah,
So Istanbul is going to be the second leg uh, of your weighted European tour tomorrow. So do you have time to, did you, well, you probably didn't have time because you just arrived, but mm. will you have some time to go to any historical places, maybe to see some things in Turkey, I in Istanbul? We have some time tomorrow. Well, you, to, yeah, to you've been here. Time. I think you've been here before. I went to the market down in the market. That was f I unbelievable. Was, I was uh, I've never the seen the old bazaar. I, I've never seen anything like that. Oh, okay. I mean, if you got lost in there, you could do a movie about a guy getting lost in this <laughs> market <laughs> and living there for the rest of his life. What What comes to mind when you hear about Istanbul or Turkey? International spies. Yeah, seems like a James really? Bond movie. Mm, never yeah. heard of that. Okay, international no, really? spies. Are you kidding? This is okay. like the crossroads of, of in, na, international intrigue. Okay. You know, in yeah. my mind. It's, I mean, a, it's interesting to hear it from you now. Boats, beautiful uh, ships uh, are built here. A lot of beautiful ships are built here that don't, that don't necessarily have the kind of the tradition, well, traditional, the the traditional since about 1974, wedding cake stack or the birthday cake stack, mm. you know, mm. ship built right. boats okay. that actually look like old ships, and they make nice ships here. Boats. You haven't heard about the food yet, probably. We have very delicious food in Oh yeah, okay. can't wait for that. <laughs> My right. wife and I were at a, were at a restaurant, and the view was the mosques and there was the ocean and you kept expecting to see a helicopter coming in. Da -da 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 -da. It looked like the beginning of a Bond movie. We're also devastated by the tragic um, earthquake where we lost more than 50,000 lives and um, we appreciate that you're going to be donating the concert uh, income to the earthquake victims of Turkey. Is there anything you want to say to them? Any message from out here? Um, we're privileged to do yeah. it. We are really privileged to do it. We get to go on stage and play our music. The fans love it. And then, you know, I mean, if you can help somebody's life after that, giving the money that's that's very you know to us that's natural that would be a natural thing to do mm -hmm. and i mean you know you when you imagine when you imagine how many people that was i it's uh, hard to even conceive of that many people dying in an earthquake it's a privilege to be able to um and an honor to be able to play a show and be able to don't that donate that money or give that money to the people who need it most mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and we're very thankful for that it's very meaningful mm. for our whole country you. um your comeback was amazing um, you know we've also seen the records with the uh, jean de Berry, the opening movie of the Cannes film festival where yeah. you got a um, seven minute standing ovation from now on um is it going to be keeping on with the movies or are we going to be seeing you on stage singing more when Alice said, "Hey, we should, we should maybe we should, you know we should play together. We should write some songs together, that mm. kind of thing." When it, when it, when Alice hit me with that, and then you know coming into contact, meeting Joe, one of my other heroes, and then Tommy, and it just all went, it just fused Clicked, yeah. so well. Uh, it was that moment when I thought, "Okay, I'm not gonna, no more limitations." Because I, I, I stopped, I didn't stop playing music, but I stopped playing music as a profession because I'd landed in this other field, you mm -hmm, know. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I didn't want to be one of those actor, musician types. And um, so I fought it for years, and then it was basically, yeah, around the inception, time of the inception of this uh, group that. Uh, I just stopped, okay, you know, no more limitations, whether it's painting or doing something I've never done before, which is sing, uh, you know, or, or writing songs or writing whatever, or directing, or no more limitations. And I, and I think it was a great lesson for me to learn, especially at that time, yeah. Okay. yeah I have to keep reminding him he did Sweeney Todd. 
<laughs> you did a lot of singing in Sweeney Todd. There's a hell of a lot of singing. <laughs> yeah. Too much singing. And we're summing up the interview as we're summing up. Today is June 9th, and it's a very important day as it's your birthday. So happy birthday. Well, You're turning you. 60, as I believe. I, yeah, apparently I'm somewhere in the neighborhood of 60. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're a kid. I think it's right on the money, actually. Yeah, <laughs> so I guess, yeah, this decade starts with a six. But I feel about six in my inside. <laughs> which is good, which is well, good. Well, he had 10,000 people sing happy birthday to him. <laughs> oh, <know>? yeah. <laughs> Let's night. organize on that Last part. Night. Last night. Beautiful. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it was really oh, sweet. Oh, Amazing. Really Thank you very much. It was an oh. honor uh, talking to you, Thank having you. this great interview. Thank you. So Thank